Whoa! Ah, you're human. <laughs> Your timing couldn't be better. You've got no idea how boring those bumbling bots are. Just awful company. You won't disappoint me, will ya? Oh! Hey everyone, Koyo here. So, we're gonna get right into it. And, um, yeah, I'm just happy to be able to continue this game. Looks like a lot of people like it. Uh, uh, I, this is the best first day performing video I've ever done. Or, you know what I'm saying. Um, aside from that, uh, now we're finally continuing past the point of where the... Oh. Oh. Oh! I've never seen any of this. This is my first time. So this is past the point of where the demo goes to. So... <laughs> or where the demo that used to exist go went to. Um, let's get going, shall we? Well, that was quick. Okay, so he took care of that right as rain. Goodness. Um, but yeah, so this is I. This is a game I'm already caring about, and I'm just glad to be able to share it with you all. Uh, the demo had me hooked, and that was like from way earlier, like some months ago. Oh, we used the washroom. Cool. <laughs> All right. Um, you know what? Let's. Uh, how do we hack things again? I forgot. It was. I thought it was the E button, but. Okay, so we can't go in there. Or the space bar, at least. Okay, no, so we just can't open it up. Yo. Wait. What are we gonna do? Yeah. What are we gonna do? <laughs> hmm. Taking out this many is tough, even for me. Hey, my guy. Be a pal and take care of him for me. Excuse me? Me? Why me? Let's just say I've got a feeling you have a trick or two up your sleeve. Can't be. Does he know that I'm a hacker? But that's impossible. I haven't told anyone that I'm the handler. Well, I'm, I'm also just partly thinking, what if it was Campanella who gave us that 10 million, you know? So, I I swear, it, no, it is E. I'm pretty sure I could make that jump alone, but I don't think my boosters have enough juice left to handle both of us. It won't be easy to top up in the dorm. Boosters? Juice? My boots have got solid oxygen in them. Throw these babies on and whoosh! Let the magic of sublimation do the rest. As for the juice, I can fill them up whenever there's oxygen freely available. And if worse comes to worst, I can even use the oxygen stores to breathe. Pretty nifty, huh? Whoa. <laughs> I've modded them myself, you know. The downside is that each boot can only lift around 40 kilograms. Sounds complicated. You'll never catch me wearing those. So, uh, otherwise, um, tell me what you guys think about the game so far. What are your impressions? Leave it down in the comments below. And uh, subscribe if you were liking, you know, how this goes so far. You know, you don't need to subscribe right now. But after the video, hey, you know, never know. So we can't use the E button. Ah, there we go. Now we probably can. I remember the R code for this one. It's Bath Sesame. Okay. So, we, yep, now the E button is not grayed out. See? I knew you were clever. Keep it up. Feeling that this guy somehow knows my secret identity. In we go. Who knows what we'll find in here? Where are we? I'm not moving right now. It's still a cutscene, it seems. Oh. I like I just looking all around. Hey, uh. Yeah, what's up? Ah, nature calls? Go ahead. When you've got to go, you got to go. No, no, that's not it. I just mean, what's going on? You're the highest scoring student in the academy. Why are you here? Why did you save me? What's your endgame, really? Riddle me this, Giovanni. Have you ever questioned the score system? For example, what if Corellin could act of its own free will? What if our human scores are just a cruel way for Corellin to manipulate us all? 
The Overseer Ark claims to be a tool to lead humanity to happiness and prosperity. What if that tool suddenly turned on us? And now that we humans are completely reliant on ours, who would even notice? You know, I saw the message Corellan sent about the symbiosis program. You're the one up for re-education, right? Doesn't it feel like a load of bullshit? Like how Corellan's message conveniently left out the part about exterminating you? You know something I don't? I'll fill you in after we get to uh, get the hell out of here. Corellan has ears all over this place, so I'm gonna shut my trap now. Next stop, the Galactic Railroad. Once we're out, we'll be in the clear. When we reach the exit, we'll take the transporter. Then it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to the station. What? You lost me at the Galactic Railroad. Let's see. Right now, it's 9 p.m. Moly in time. The next train leaves in 30 minutes. Which means playtime's over, pal. What do we say we clean up some pesky R's? Let's snoop around a bit. Hopefully, we'll find something to keep th keep things interesting. This guy doesn't like to let on much. Can I really trust him? I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm alive. I'll take whatever help I can get. I've got no choice but to tag along with this plan for now. Besides, I need that kind of muscle to survive. Alright, now for those cleanars. Let's find a way to take care of him. Uh, I wish I was a bit taller. I can't see much of a was it much of anything from here. Wait, why is this one red though? Do you see that red line on it? It seems to be locked. Lock reserved by the following user, Marcel. Hmm. Okay, I was just making sure these lockers all do the same thing. Now maybe we could talk to Campanella to do something for us, but I'm willing to. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no, it's it's moving. It's moving. Uh oh. Oh, it moved during the Ooh, okay. 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 Ooh. <laughs> I like how he knew. He probably saw the face like <laughs> Now's our chance. Come on, this way. What? Oh no. That was close. Man, that could have got an ugly fast. Good thing I had a stun round loaded. But thank you for saving me. And, uh, what's an EMP exactly? Is that a genre of music or something? Electromagnetic pulse, EMP. A pulse of energy that can fry most arms. The rats have no effect on humans, but binary bozos don't stand a chance. Beautiful, huh? I just love this stuff. Whatever you do, just don't break my PC. One more thing. And one more thing. Whoa, what's that? Hold up, just muting. There's like a plane flying outside. Okay. Wow, that's one useful gun. How did he get permission from Corellan to carry a weapon like that? That's easy. I didn't. Huh? Let's just call it a trade secret. Anyway, we've got other things to do. Let's explore around here a bit. That's interesting. Does anyone see the... Okay, okay. I don't think anyone sees the weird V-Sync uh, tearing that's... Ha or, I mean, just tearing that's happening, screen tearing. The crystal gleams beautifully. This is the crystallized form of energy known as Ignium. The energy necessary to run water heating and purification system of this bathing facility is generated by Ignium Power. Uh-huh, Ignium is a crystal substance possessing special properties. Discovered Amalia. Structure holds tremendous particle potential energy sealed within a field of antimatter. Uh-huh. Here, Ignium can be refined from Ignium ore. Uh, this vast potential as a power source, the Corellian symbio symbiote. Adopted Ignium as its primary source of energy production. Ignium is stable when its antimatter field is left intact. However, when the substance comes into contact with alcohol solutions such as concentrated ethanol, oh, its stability is compromised. So, alcohol. 
Um, highly concentrated alcohol solutions destabilize antimatter fields, resulting in subatomic lesions of matter and antimatter. Okay, so we need alcohol. What do you see when you look out of the window? If you spotted a glowing blue cube, you found the gymnasium's Orbit R. Orbit R's work together to, with clean R's to keep the windows squeaky clean. <laughs> yeah, what else is going to be squeaky, squeaky clean if they get near us? Caution, when Ignin comes in contact with alcohol solutions above 50%, the surrounding antimatter fields will collapse and trigger an explosive reaction. This substance is highly dangerous. As such, alcohol compounds should never be brought into bathing facilities. Ooh. Hmm. Looks like we'll have to look around a bit. Okay, so maybe... It won't move. It'll be broken. So... Maybe Campanella does have a means with that little thing he has. The drone is hovering around. A flash of an arc code was visible on the drone. Hey, okay. So I guess we'll hack that. And then we'll... Oh! <laughs> Need me to lend you my drone? Sure thing! Almost missed it, but there's an arc code written up here. Okay, so that's the one we specifically... They're all the same. That's why. Okay. So... Now we're gonna hack that. Inside, there's a bunch of books, a can of soda, and a weird-looking bottle. The books are all mysteries. Shocker. This is a public facility, but clearly Marceau doesn't share well. And what the heck is in this bottle? Let me see. It's ethanol disinfecting spray. Ethanol? What is that again? <laughs> You're like a babe in the woods. Ethanol's a type of alcohol, but not the kind that people drink for a good time. Uh, wait, you know what alcohol is, right? Uh, of course I do! I'm not that naive! Give me a break. <laughs> anyway, this isn't for drinking. It's a highly concentrated form of alcohol that's used as a disinfectant. But I still don't get it. Why would anyone need ethanol in here? Who knows? Because they're high strung? Or maybe they're just a neat freak. I imagine it's a neat freak since it's a spray. He's high strung, but I don't know about me. Oh, he had no problem taking over this locker. Now this is a real mystery. <laughs> once we probably, <laughs> once we probably won't be solving. Oh, one we probably won't be solving anytime soon. But we might be able to make this. Uh, wait, use this for something. Let's take it with us. All right. Okay, so. Wait, wouldn't it explode? Okay, let's make a quick save. <laughs> I'm like, isn't this just gonna explode? There's no way for me to... Like, I don't know how big of an explosion, but we'll see. Causing an explosion in a place like this would be catastrophic. I don't know, should we really go through with it? I mean, obviously not, but... I mean, we saved, so... Is anyone curious? I am. Well, I've got nothing to lose. It's not like my score could get any worse. I gotta do what it takes... To, whatever it takes to survive. Now I just need to do something about this glass case. Oh, okay, maybe we're doing alright. What's wrong? Not much of a throwing arm? Why don't we stand back and chuck it from over there? Here, give me the bottle. Huh? If you say so. Did you just say chuck it? Alright, partner. Let's do this. Ready? Aim? Alright, now's our chance. Let's get out of here. Wait, I'm confused. So there was an explosion, but did all the R's go over there? If you go that way, they'll find you. We'll need to get up to the hallway. Oh, oh, I guess it's because their duty is to clean, right? So they probably just went to actually take care of it. Um, interesting. I thought we were going to, like, somehow take the, the Ignium and then toss it and then like toss the spray can or spray it and then like big explosion but I, I guess instead the idea was to draw them away I don't know if those ones are alive and I'm not gonna find out <laughs> we know we know what happens when we interact with those what? did you guys hear that you, you heard that right I'm pretty sure that wasn't just me um oh okay it's broken good okay I thought 
they were probably alive or something. New message. Oh, I can actually can. I don't need to use my mouse for this. Cool. Hey, it's Emil. Geo, where are you? It's Emil. He could help me, but I can't involve him. He might get in trouble. I really love the. I think I brought this up on the first episode, but I really love the expressions that they use that are reflected on the screen. It's so cool to me. Well, yeah, we can't really respond to that, huh? Okay. Oh! Uh oh. Well, might as well save just in case I make a mistake. Okay. Oh, we could kind of. Okay, cool. Oh! Wow. Okay, I don't know why that would fall over. Okay, you know, you notice how they're not showing it here because of the perspective. I imagine, okay, if it's, we have to move like that, then like that, then like that. Oh, yeah, okay, see, I was just like, but maybe it's not. No, see, I, I, I knew what they were doing there. I was like, hey, there's something off about this. They're not showing it, but I, I swear it's two steps away from the door. Oh, is he bleeding? No, that's not his blood. Oh, it is! Oh, no! Ooh, your wounds are opening up again. How about we find a place to take a break? Hmm. I should rest. Found it! It's Door Sesame 0643. Huh? No, he know he, he, he definitely knows everything going on with Giovanni, doesn't he? Hmm? To hack it. You're gonna need an R code, right? Be a pal and open it up for me. All right, all right. He knows too much. Is Campanella supposed to actually be following behind me and it's just not appearing so well? I don't know. Like, he kind of disappeared the moment he walked behind us. Um, anyway, let's do the, the hacking. I'll release the lock on the trap door. <laughs> Those arts won't know what hit them. Whose room is this? I need something to stop the bleeding. Maybe a cloth or a towel. I I I like the he has like this smug face almost. He's like, mm, you know, don't mind me. It's kind of relaxing. Okay, so I can't open that. Can't open that. Ah, bed sheets will do the trick. I can rip them into a makeshift bandage. Well, whoever whoever's bed is that? I mean, you know. I'm gonna come back wondering what the heck happened. Whoa. Ugh. You okay, pal? You need some help? I'm fine. At this point, I'm pretty used to getting beat, beat up. I can handle this on my own. Suit yourself. You know, you're pretty famous around here. The one and only Giovanni Stylus. Emil was always talking about you. I heard he got plenty of brains, but terrible luck. Must be rough having the worst human score on record. Great, my reputation precedes me. But if one of us is famous, it's you. Look at you, the great Campanella, Mr. High Score Shining Star. Your fans foam at the mouth whenever they see you. I'm surprised you even know I exist. Wait, Emil was talking about me? Emil talking about me. Wow, I can't believe it. That's so cool. Yikes. Don't tell me he conned you into his student body cult, too. Cult? No. Emil isn't conning anyone. It's just, I am, I am everything. When I was at my lowest, he took me in. I'm here because of him. He saved me. Aw, was he? So maybe after that explosion happened... Even though I know how busy he is with his duties as student council president, he always took time to be there for me. I started to think there was no kindness left in this universe until I met him. When you're at your lowest, huh? You're one of the survivors, aren't you, of the incident on Grocky's Prime? I heard only you and your mom made it out. 
Yeah, but... Mom still hasn't made it out, really. She's been in a coma ever since that day. When the collapse happened... Oh, no, she's intubated. So... Oh, she's she's in the toughest moment. If she's intubated, she cannot breathe on her own. Um, she, she has a machine to breathe for her, so that's really, like, on the saving throws. Which is... Um, kind of interesting to me, because, you know, she, she's in a coma, naturally, you know, um, what is it? I, I haven't, interesting, so, that really makes me wonder what happened with her lungs then, I guess, she, okay, so it says here, sorry, I was looking all around thinking about this, I often, my eyes go all over the place when I'm thinking a lot. Kind of like that lady when she's, you know, that little meme with the, with the math and everything. When the collapse happened, my mom, she sacrificed herself to save, uh, to keep me safe. Her body was crushed under the rubble. Oh, rib cage. Okay, there it is. Her her rib cage was damaged, uh, or possibly even her spine. Uh, if the spine gets damaged, um, of C five to C you know C three to C five then you're going to have uh, breathing problems. You're going to need a machine to breathe from, for you at that point. Um, and that could be for life. Uh, did she? No, but it was a miracle she survived. She's still in treatment at the hospital, or at least she was. Oh, no, don't... Oh, don't remind me, because technically... Huh? What do you mean? I'm not sure, but when my score tanked, they cut off my benefits. Then the R's went ballistic. I just hope my mom is okay. Yeah, because, um, why he freak? Now I understand why he mentioned oxygen. If you remember a little back when they were saying, hey, don't do it, don't do it. They, they can even, you know, that's our, like, they can even cut off our right to oxygen. And that's referring to the fact that she is receiving oxygen in order to be able to breathe on that machine. That's the last thing keeping her alive right now. So, that's what he's referring to when he went oxygen, freaked out. And now that we've crossed this line, who knows what'll happen to us. All because of your score, huh? Let me ask you something, Giovanni. Do you hate Corellin? Huh? Let me put it this way. The reason you're suffering is because of something Corellin decided for you. Don't you think that's unfair? Not really. It's my dad's fault my score is low. And as for the collapse, well, that was just a terrible accident. No, it's not your dad's fault. People, it's the it's the fault of people literally using your dad to blame, you know, to still somehow shift responsibility for something that is nothing to do with you or your actions. So it's not even your dad's. It's not your dad's fault. You're, 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 like, yes, your dad caught, you know, did the, he might, I guess you could say, okay, it's his fault that he is the origin, but at the same time, the, the origin for you suffering is people's judgment. That, the, the, it's society that is wrong. That's meaning that society must be broken down, especially if you cannot have a fair situation, you know, in this kind of circumstance. And what if it wasn't? What if it was all part of its plan? Exactly. Of course, that's just a theory. If Corellin was behind what happened... I'd do whatever it takes to get revenge. That thing would pay. But even if that were true, I'd still blame one person as much as Corellin. And that person is me. I'm a coward. You you are not a Fei Fong Wong. You are not a Xenogears man. Don't put yourself, don't put yourself so low like that. When everything collapsed, I was so scared. I couldn't even think. All I could do was run, just like my mom told me to. And look at me, I'm no different now. I'm still running away to this day. I hate what I've become. Emil saved me, and I coasted along in my cushy dorm life, taking everything for granted. No, you didn't. But I won't make the same mistake again. I'm gonna live my life to the fullest, and if I have to hack my way through life, I'll be the best damn hacker I can. Man, Giovanni, 
To be completely honest with you, I'm a little jealous. Huh? You? Jealous of me? Yeah, well, I guess he could say, I just love how flawed you are. But that's just what it means to be human. And that's exactly why I won't let that AI asshole and his uppity gadgets kill you. I promise. Failure is not an option. Got it, buddy? We have to put things right. Uh, huh. Giovanni. This fight is much bigger than us. It's for the entire human race. You need to keep fighting no matter what. Keep on living for what's right. The bleeding stopped, so I guess that's enough chit-chat. Let's get a move on. The exit's just up ahead. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Hey, Geo, this isn't the way to the entrance. Oh, thanks. We can't chat with him, in case you're wondering. Great out. It's locked. So, this is the transporter. It's our way out of the dorm. I like hearing from Giovanni, because, like, they're... Their uh, talks are interesting. Oh, okay. We're gonna hack that. Oh. This is too easy. Oh, what the hell is that? Uh, camp Campanella? Huh? Is that a person? Wait, why can't I move? What? Oh, oh! Press that key. I pressed it. Whoa! Ah, you're human. <laughs> Your timing couldn't be better. You've got no idea how boring those bumbling bots are. Just awful company. You won't disappoint me, will ya? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, Campanella? Huh? It's not working. The lock! Uh... The... Oh... Run for it! What? Let's play a game of tag. And trust me, you don't want to be it. Oh shit. Uh... Mo... Oh, oh my god! What? Oh... What? Okay. Uh, I'll try this way. Maybe all the, the drones. Oh. Okay, we can't go in there. Uh, go up. Up this way. Oh! <laughs> Purged by red. Mission complete. Oh my gosh. That's what the achievement just said. I don't know why the achievements don't show up. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, I already got stuck. Oh no, am I screwed? I got a... Okay, how, how much times does he knock? Okay, we made it. What in the world? They can teleport? Where are we at? We went through the same door. Oh my gosh. Where are they hiding? I think he has a gun too. No, it's just a stun baton. Well, very dangerous stun baton. Love? Love? Oh, it has an upside-down heart shape when you think about it. Are they drones, though? I don't know if they're entirely human. They don't even talk. Giovanni Stylus. Authorization granted to neutralize on site. Commencing search. Bonus score, plus five. Okay, no, they're definitely human. Campanella Demillion, high score asset. Neutralization is prohibited. Here, the asset with non lethal rounds. They do have guns. Or maybe their batons are also guns. Understood. Who are they? Research and Enforcement Division. Red. Corellin. Oh, that's what red stands for. Corellin's own Special Forces Unit. Human agents trained to purge unauthorized births and suppress dissidents. Are they the ones who did the explosion? 
Purge? You mean... Uh-huh. They may be human, but with those power suits, they're one hell of a threat. Plus, they aren't vulnerable to EMPs. So, what's the plan from here? You're asking Giovanni? Oh, we, we are stealthing. Okay, hold... Uh, okay, we have to hold shift to crouch. Okay, so it zooms in when we do that. I, I, I'm not sure. Oh, I guess maybe to make ourselves smaller when, ooh. Could, do you think they could see behind trees? <laughs> Can they see behind RPG maker assets? Okay, let's see how this guy moves. We cannot walk past him unless we, what? I let off shift and then, wait, wasn't his back turned? Okay. Well, I definitely feel like the ooh, the left side is possible, but okay. So we're gonna wait so that we can follow him. He turns around. He turns around when uh, he walks backwards. So he does check his six. That's scary. Um, how precise they are. Oh, there, I didn't see it. Okay, so he does a, he does two double takes? Holy smokes, this guy. Okay, so, uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay. I have a moment when he does that. Oh my gosh, this is tough. Okay, so like when he, even though he turns around, uh, okay, I can move. Oh, oh, that is such a tough frame. Maybe I don't need to crouch until I'm where that tree is. Wait, no, I need to crouch while I'm there, though. Okay, so... Uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh! Okay, see, I was able to move out after he was looking there, so I'm gonna take advantage of that frame of animation that he's inactive, apparently. Okay, I'm standing up. Oh! Okay, so I'll crouch... Holy, okay. I'm, oof. Oh man, it's already 32 minutes. Okay, let's try to get this in under 35 minutes. And if we don't, we're ending the episode there. Just to keep things shorter. Oh, I did it. Oh my god. Okay, so I have that much time. About two seconds. Looks like they can't hear too well. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll be taking the left if we can. Okay, we can. Oh. Oh, come. Master of stealth, sneaking success. This doesn't feel like a success. No, we're surrounded. Uh, Giovanni, maybe use the shots on the other thing. Target spotted, engaging, fire at will. Oh, Giovanni, come on! Oh, oh, they can't shoot him. Ah, oh, sorry, pal. See, Gio and I were inseparable. You want him? You'll have to take me. So, what'll it be? Hmm? You gonna shoot? Think about it. You really wanna risk killing such a high-score asset? He overheard it. Ready stun rounds. Locked and loaded. Oh, it's blue for non-lethal. <laughs> wow, you're all business, huh? Roland must really like you. But you'll be going places in no time. Whoa. What was that? Is he reflecting his bullets? <laughs> Not bad. Who is he? Surround the targets. Mr. Demillion, prepare to be subdued with non-lethal rounds. All units, open fire. Oh, you're kidding me. What? All units? Damn it, they're everywhere. Oh god, 
What are we gonna do? Uh, what can we hack? Okay, not that. Oh, snatch the gun. All oh, right, his gun is a drone thing. Robot sesame. Oh god, over here. Oh. Oh man, we're still hacking. What are we hacking here? Oh no. Uh oh, we gotta close it. Okay. Wow. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, his hand is going through there. <laughs> well, it's been fun, but I'm through with our little game of tag for now. Time for you to cool off. With a little oxygen blast, that is. Yeah. Close it. Did that do it? Okay. Well, that was an exciting chase scene. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're going to call the episode there. Oof. Wow. Okay. That was exciting. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think of our new person down there, down in the comments. Who do you think he might be? Like, we actually got to see his face for a moment there. So maybe, you know, what do we have any hypotheses? Why do you think he's even doing it, right? You know, do you think he is actually under conscious control? Or is there maybe a little bit of like, you know, maybe he's possibly a brainwashed human? I don't know for sure, but leave it down in the comments what you think or what you think of other things that have occurred thus far. See you guys later.